All right, tribe. <clears throat> wow. Whew. It's going to be Friday. Friday! TGIF, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're heading day 12, coming into our second weekend of this 28-day phase of the whole life in this manifesto. And I, whew, I'm loving Chrissy's videos. Honestly, it gets me really excited and super fired up. What are you guys thinking of those? Are you liking it? Uh, I, I mean... It's been pretty cool because I've been out here in Vancouver for a couple weeks and I, or I guess a week and a half now. And I feel a bit disconnected because prior to that I was in Calgary. I've been on a bit of a speaking tour and uh, I have a big presentation this evening. So it's actually Thursday night. I'm just about to go out to it. And I'm like super nervous. It's weird. Like every time I speak, no matter, I get scared. I get this mm, knot in my stomach and... Uh, it's okay. I know, well, I'm used to it now. Um, but isn't it funny that even things that we do that push us outside of our comfort zone and we do it repeatedly, we would think that eventually we wouldn't have as severe uh, a pushback, right? Or a physical pushback. And uh, I haven't found that. So even all these years of constantly practicing my public speaking and delivering a message and, and lecturing and y you name it, I still get really nervous. And I think it's really interesting. You know, I keep asking myself, when am I not going to be nervous anymore? Hmm. So I, the reason for this, uh, a little bit of an amble, is the fact that I know a lot of you get that way too. When you see some of these new movements or new workout combinations or you start to get pushed outside of your comfort zone, right? And I think it's just instinctively, most of us by nature, when we get outside of that zone of comfort, things just get really real, really quick. Because we have to adapt, right? And it's a really neat thing because the physical, we see it in the body all the time. Um, if you take up, you know, like CrossFit or doing our 15 minute a day HIIT workouts if it's new to you, or Tabata training, or you start training for a marathon, right? Even if you're starting with just a, a kilometer or two a week, and you're gonna build it up over a year, it's remarkable because the body adapts. So, as much as we have these physical, mm, the body does adapt. Our confidence increases. So the more and more we do it. So I'm committed to continuously pushing myself outside my comfort zone. Are you committed to continuously pushing yourself outside the comfort zone? Because I'll commit to you. I'll keep doing it if you do too. Anyways, let me know. What are some of those things that you've been putting off just because you're a bit concerned that, you know, just a little bit too scared? Because that's a normal emotion. But I know that you can do it. And here goes to just giving it a rip, right? <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll update you tomorrow on how everything went. Um, you'll probably see some social sharing on uh, the usual channels. Um, but in case you don't, don't worry. I'll give a recap on Saturday's video. Be well. Keep pushing yourself outside that comfort zone. Keep adapting. Keep getting stronger. And uh, it keeps life really interesting, right? So be well, guys. TGIF.